Uh, I've been very pleased to hear uh, uh, all the advances we go. We know there's uh, still a little more work to do. That little more work on CUSMA Prime Minister Trudeau is talking about is on labor reform. Friday, Mexico's point man on the new NAFTA, Jesus Seade, admitted there's been pressure for reform from Canada and the U.S., but he points out Mexico is willing to change under the new government. Our more liberal political forces, and in particular, my president, have been fighting for that for 30 years. So this is a really nice convergence. It's a convergence, but not quite a consensus. Labor leaders in Canada and particularly the U.S. have been leery of Mexico's willingness to enforce higher labor standards. That my American friends have been insisting they have to, able to, to be able to inspect those facilities if there is a complaint in regard to adherence to the commitment that Mexico has made here. And that is a red line for the Mexicans. We would not accept this uh, long ranger inspectors being called and 12 hours later, boom, they dash to see a factory whether there's a, a sin being committed there. That's not fun. That's where Canada comes in. Canada and Mexico have for a while now been working closely on supporting Mexico's very ambitious uh, work on labor reform. Well, Canada is sharing best practices on labor administration. For instance, ensuring unionized workers in Mexico have basic rights, like voting for what union they want to join. And the key is if Mexico doesn't follow through. I hope that there is some penalties to say if you don't live up to your obligation, you're going to have some very difficulties exporting your products into the Canadian and the U.S. market. And it's unclear if that will make it into the final text in time for the U.S. Congress to pass the new NAFTA before Christmas. Then it'll be up to our government to reintroduce a ratification bill because the previous one died when the election was called. So although ratification is getting closer, there's still no firm timeline for when that might happen. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.